guys, this is Seven Steelsmith back again. Um, today we're going to be doing something kind of unusual for me. Um, we're going to be installing a Bigsby tremolo or vibrato, whichever you prefer, um, on an ES or on a uh, Edwards Viper, sort of like a their, their take on the SG, which is essentially like the ESP Viper. But anyway, um, I'm very excited. I'm not sure how this is going to work as far as intonation, how it's going to stay in tune. There's some variables, so we're going to have to just take that as take the, the journey uh, and see what happens. So uh, I'm using uh, the B5 Bigsby, which is right here. Um, it's meant for flat top guitars like SGs. And we have the Bigsby spring still in the paper and then this white plastic washer. I believe it's plastic. Um, and here is the Vibramate, which I decided to invest in with the B5 Bigsby in order to not have to drill any holes in the, the body. Um, and then here are the screws that come with the Vibramate. We have two English and then metric, so the flat heads are English, the uh, Phillips head are metric. Here's the uh, actual screws that are going to go from the Bigsby into the Vibramate. Right here, there are four screws, two are short, two are long, and the rear matting screws are short, the front matting screws are long, so that's very important not to damage your guitar finish. So let's, let's get started. <laughs> So the first step is to actually detune the strings, take the strings off, and then remove the tailpiece. So that is the first thing I'm going to do. Um, I have locking tuners on this guitar, so I'm just going to go ahead and take these off and take this bad boy off. And this is where um, the vibramate is going to sit, and then the big is going to be on top of the vibramate. So um, I'm going to do that real quick. <laughs> So there's, there's the Vibramate sitting right there on the guitar itself. And I'm assuming that the metric will fit. And I am correct. Um, so I'll go ahead and get both of these. So now the Vibramate is installed. Next, I'm going to take the Bigsby itself. And uh, the first thing you want to do with the Bigsby is we have some felt pads on the bottom. Now, if we're mounting this uh, directly onto the guitar without the Vibramate, we leave those on because in the back of the Vibramate there are some felt pads as well. So we're going to be taking these felt pads off. Now be careful, don't bang the guitar with, with these pieces of metal like I just did, but this is this guitar is the reason why I'm you know I'm putting the the things in this guitar is because it's an experiment. So I know I'm gonna be mixing black hardware and, and uh, silver or chrome hardware and but I I don't really care. We're gonna line up the Bigsby with the screws on the Vibramate. Like so. Already looking pretty cool, if I may say so. I'm not sure how the camera is on that. So, we want to make sure we put the right screws in the right place. So the front two matic screws, long, and the rear two are short. Everything is, all the screws are nice and tied on here. So last but not least, put the spring on here. So I think the spring, pop that on there, put the washer on top I think, and it goes on top of the spring. And so that feels really smooth, very cool. 
All right, so last but not least, we need to string this guy up. Okay, so actually before we restring this thing, I'm gonna take um, this stuff right here, which is Graph It All from Renee Martinez. It's some guitar lube, you can use it on tremolos. It's basically just kind of like a graphite uh, mixture that helps keeping strings from binding anywhere. So I'm gonna take this really tiny flathead screwdriver. You probably wanna use um, like, like a uh, toothpick or something. But I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on here, just a little bit. And I hear that the problem with the, uh, a lot of times the problem with uh, Bigsby is just getting bound to the nut. And I do have locking tuners, which will help. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take, take this and just kind of paint the nut slots like so. And I want to be very gentle so that I don't actually do anything to the nut itself because I'm using this and not uh, a toothpick. So I recommend a toothpick just in case. So I think another alternative to this is to use a pencil lead because um, it's graphite. This just helps it so it doesn't get caught up in here, which we don't want. It's going to throw everything out of tune. And it's kind of hard to get over here, so I'm just going to kind of paint that on, and the string will kind of bring it inside the actual nut slot. So that is done. Now let's pop on some strings. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start off with the low E string. Um, this guitar is actually going to be tuned down, and I was a little hesitant to put a Bigsby on this because I could get the low tunings. Are kind of the big two's enemy, but I'm using some pretty heavy strings. These are this is a 12, or I'm sorry, this is a 52, I believe. Um, this is in the, e the Diodario EXO 116 set, which is a hybrid between 11s and 12s. And I have this tuned down to D. Um, so, one thing I read about, uh, or I saw in the YouTube video, um, is to take the ball end of the string, and you're going to want to bend it because there's these pins right here, and the guitar is going to. The string's gonna kind of wrap around under here, above, and then back, and it wraps around and it locks right in place on one of these pins. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a pre curve in here. And you wanna do it so that the this ball in the actual circle, is gonna be facing one part of the curve. So let's see what I can do. This just makes it so it doesn't pop out. So I think something like this will probably work out perfectly, because um, the string is going to kind of form to the uh, the bridge anyway. So let's see what happens. Let's go ahead, run this under the roller like so. Come in underneath and get that ball end right there. I'm going to pull that tight. Now I'm going to take my capo, and it's better to have like a Kaiser style, I think, where you can just it just slaps on there. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten right here, just so I can keep the tension when I'm um, coming around to the tuners and stringing it through. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, come through here. And it's for the supposedly for these guys, the uh, locking tuners. You want to make sure that you're straight across the fretboard. And then I want to lock it down. I took off my capo. Now I'm going to really make sure we're pulled tight across. Alright guys, so here is the guitar with the Bigsby installed. Um, as you can see, I have mismatched hardware, but it, I think it actually looks kind of cool. Um, uh, I, so what really helped is when you kink the string, when you wrap it around here, the little pin, that really helps um, keep things, you know, when you're not, so it's not popping off. So I, 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 when I did the restring, I, I strung this thing up. I, Kink right here, pulled it underneath, and then I pulled it tight through here, and I just put the capo after every string so that then I could slide it through um, the tuners and then lock that down. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helped. 
in your Bigsby installation. We'll see you next time.